NJCAA National Tournament play-in game. Winner advances to the final four. The loser's season is over. Genesee on the road, taking on Howard. Dragons enter the tournament as the number four seed. Howard beat Genesee in the regular season meeting back in April. Dragons have advanced to the final four each of the last two seasons. Cougars enter the tournament as the number five seed. Genesee has advanced to the final four each of the last four seasons. Cougars are also hosting the final four this year, so there's added pressure to keep their season and the national championship hopes alive. First quarter, Jojo Montesano fights to get a better angle, scores! Perfectly placed high bouncer, ties the game. Genesee's offense having success in the first quarter of this playoff game. Cougars reclaim the lead. Dragons looking to answer. Drew Good behind the goal. Draws the slide. Moves it to Jackson Krasny. Excellent possession for Howard's offense. Cougars doing some damage moving off ball. Assisted tally for Genesee. Cougars take a 6-5 lead into halftime. Third quarter, Timothy Martino goes to Jason Chido. Scores! Gives Genesee a two-goal lead. 7.32 remaining in the third quarter. Dragons turn it over. Jason Chido comes up with an empty net goal. Gives Genesee a three-goal lead. Big face-off. Cougars have momentum. Dragons get the call. Down three goals in the third quarter. Howard's offense makes the most of this crucial possession. Jeremy Sforzo finds Colvin Prosser on the crease. And Howard fires back. Dragons defense answers the bell as well. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Nice check by Jason McElroy. Timely defensive stand for Howard. Johnny Chasen pushes it in transition. To Jake McKenzie. Sforzo. Prosser. Makes it a one goal game. Dragons score two unanswered. 18 save performance for Tim Russell. Sets a postseason high here in the play-in game. No save was bigger than this one at a pivotal moment in the contest. Howard's defense reacting, getting out on hands, all over Genesee at the moment. Under 11 minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Russell makes the stop. Dragons have shut out Genesee over the last 12 minutes. McKenzie in transition. Head to Bobby Solomon. Gets to the middle of the field. Solomon ties the game. Dragons erase the three goal deficit. Colvin Prosser gives Howard the lead. Dragons score four unanswered. Less than six minutes remaining. Lincoln Potter makes the save and controls the rebound. At last, the Cougars halt Howard's momentum. Genesee makes the most of it. Deceptive finish on the crease from Chido evens it up. Less than four minutes to play. Joe Bevel recovers the low pass. Moves to daylight. Bevo gives Howard the lead. Dragons and Cougars trading shots late in the fourth quarter of this winner go home showdown. Zach Wade forces the issue, and once again, Genesee finds a way to respond. 
final minute. After a defensive stand, here comes Genesee in transition. Wade hits the pipe. Four seconds, Cougars go to Chido. McElroy breaks up the shot. We are going to overtime. Jake Griffin wins the faceoff for Howard. Coach Faust calls a timeout. Solomon feeds Prosser on the crease. Potter makes the save. But the Cougars throw it away. Gives Howard a second chance. Jack Watsick dodging on the short stick. Gets separation. Watsick! Howard's moving on to the final four. Dragons advance to the final four for the fourth time in program history and for the third consecutive season. Matter. What I tell you, man, what I tell you, what I tell you, right? I'll give you a hug too, guys. Great job, great job Thanks. today. Thanks, guys. Awesome. Great work. <laughs> Coach Faust making more history, third consecutive trip to the Final Four. What does today mean to you? <laughs> um, it just means we're, you know, we're doing, we're doing some things right. Uh, you know, everyone's in the program's buying in for the most part to what we're trying to do. Uh, you know, we got a great group of guys, great group of assistant coaches. Um, you know, before I continue, I want to, you know, make sure I mention Genesee. They're a hell of a program. They are uh, very well coached, very good kids, great kids, great players. And uh, I told, um, I told their coach it was a shame that somebody had to lose today's game. Today's game was a, was a great lacrosse. It was a great, great lacrosse game. So, um, you know going off on a, a little bit of a tangent there but yeah I think we're doing the right things and uh, you know we just we got a, we got another game together you know I'm, I'm really happy that I got another game with these sophomores the five sophomores that we have so how happy are you with the leadership today it was a back and forth emotional game to how happy were you with how your leaders played I think a lot of the freshmen you know that we have have grown up really grown up these last couple weeks and they're not really freshmen anymore. Uh, you know, and, and honestly, our huddle, the huddle that we had <clears throat> right before overtime started, I huddled with our coaches and the guys huddled together. You know, I gave the huddle to the players and, you know, they, you know, they made it happen. They're the ones playing, you know. We're, we're just directors, we're just conductors or whatever. Um, you know, and so I think that says a lot, especially, you know, we have five sophomores and 27 freshmen. So, you know, to beat a, a team like Genesee twice in a year is huge. I mean, and, and to beat a team like Genesee in the quarterfinals where, you know, they're hosting the Final Four and to take away an opportunity that they had to have that Final Four and play in that Final Four at their home field, you know, says a lot about just where we are as a, as, a, as a team, you know? And so I think there's more than, you know, one or two or three or four leaders or captains on this team. I think a lot of guys stepped up that normally don't or haven't. There was a cool moment right before we did the interview where Jojo Montesano comes up to you, you guys embrace each other. He just came out, you know, wanted to give you some love. Just talk about just, what, what does like a moment like that mean to you as a coach? Well, Jojo's not the only one that that this applies to you know guys come to us guys come to HCC you know student athletes come to HCC 
and they a lot of them have to really grow up you know and and guys get chances and opportunities that they normally wouldn't you know second chances third chances but as long as they keep growing and you know that that needle keeps going up you know they're going to continue to get opportunities and and jojo got an opportunity today to play um i mean he's a hell of a, a lacrosse player he just needs to work on a lot of other things it's this isn't all about lacrosse it's about being young men and, responsible and, 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 and good people. And that's honestly what we're trying to build here. We're not trying to build championships. I mean, we want guys to move on to the next level. And uh, the more guys we have that move on to NCAA one, two, or three, more guys that we have on those rosters, the better players we're gonna get here. And then the champions will be a byproduct or championships will be a byproduct of that philosophy. And so Jojo got an opportunity today and he scored two huge goals for us. You know, so that's why he's, you know, I gave him a shot. How do you feel about the way Tim Russell has played in this postseason, especially today? Just I saw he had like nine saves in the first half, and Tim Russell, I thought, really stood out in my eyes. How do you feel about his game? He's very emotional. <laughs> Tim's a very emotional keeper. I, he played outstanding. You know, he's played very well. Um, you know, in, in this postseason, he played well in the regions. He was... Uh, on the all tournament team and uh you know he stood on his, his i mean he was crazy today it was great today you know he did get a penalty but fortunately they didn't score on it but you know you know he's he's done a great job so even though it has been a perfect season undefeated season you're in the final four you're where you want to be how excited are you to have a week to prepare and then you're going to play in the final four like you were hoping in the beginning of the season yeah um I haven't had a lot of time to think about it. I think this is, uh, we're gonna face a very good Nassau team. Uh, this is the best Nassau team that, uh, that probably the best Nassau team I've seen uh, in the six, seven years I've been here at HCC. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm really, I'm really proud of the guys and I'm happy we're gonna have another opportunity to compete together. You know, so I haven't had a chance to think about our opponent or think about how we're gonna prepare. Um, I kind of want to, you know, relax a little bit and have a good day and then enjoy Mother's Day with my wife and, and kids. And, uh, you know, Monday we're going to go back to work. Last one, Coach. Can you give us any update on where, or who may be moving on to a four-year school this coming season out of this group? Um, Sophomore-wise, uh, Jake Polinski and uh, Jake McKenzie have both signed with uh, Mount Olive, which is a top-10 Division II school in uh, – in, in North, Carolina. North Carolina, and uh, Timmy Rosler signed with Newberry, uh, which is a Division II school in South Carolina, and uh, Austin Stubner and Jake Pike are still looking. They have some visits they got to take. Um, freshmen that are going to be leaving, uh, Jack Watsick is probably going to end up at Division I Mount St. Mary's, and uh, there's a couple other guys up in the air, but I think they're going to, I think we're going to return most of our freshmen, which is exciting. So, Jack, you hit the game winner. Just t take us inside. What's going on in your head right now? Um, so when I scored, I really had a, was only thinking that it was my first goal of the whole game. So I was like, thank God I finally scored. And then my roommate, Jeremy Sforza, came running across the field screaming. And I was like, oh, my God, I just scored the game winner. We're going to Final Four. So uh, it was pretty emotional. I was happy. Didn't, wanna, didn't want this to be our last game. So what did this win, like you were saying, you didn't want to be eliminated today, just what does this win mean to you? Well, uh, and since the tournament's in Genesee, I think just beating them and then going there to play on their home field is giving us kind of a little extra energy, especially we're going to need that going in and playing against NASA, number one team. So we just got to come out ready and this game helped us prepare for them. They played real physical, they put some nice shots up. So. The, they were a good opponent and we played well. How do you think yourself and your teammates did? It was back and forth almost the whole game. Just how do you think you all did with just hanging in there and responding whenever they made a play and vice versa? Uh, so we just like always were punching back. We uh, Anytime that they'd score a goal, we'd get one right back. They'd get two, we'd find a way to slow them down on the defensive end. Just making sure that we wouldn't 
wouldn't give up like those four goals in a row or five goals in a row, and that's when it really becomes killer. That's when you have to dig yourself out of a hole. But you got a game ball today. How big is that to you? Uh, so Coach Faust really isn't big into giving gifts, so it was really special for me to give for him to give that to me. I was really happy. What was the overall? You know, it was a tough Region 20 title game against Hartford. Talk about the whole week. Go back a little bit and just how was this team able to respond and come out and get a win today after suffering such a disappointment in the region final? Uh, so watching against uh, in the Region 20 tournament, our defense had been playing very well. And in the Hartford game, I thought that the offense had been looking as good as it has all year up until this game. I thought uh, we just keep making progressions like we need to going into that Final Four, so hopefully we hit that next stride and can move on to the national championship. So where's your confidence now? Just hit a game winner. You got the number one team, Nassau. Where's your confidence right now? I mean, like I said in the first interview, we're here to win a national championship, and I believe that's still the same goal. Well, all of us are chasing that dream. JoJo, how are you feeling after producing two goals and helping Howard win this game? Um, today was a great day uh, for myself as well as the whole offense. Um, I really felt that we were just clicking on all cylinders. Everything was going right for us. We were running the offense the way the coaches asked us to, and um, it worked out in our favor today, so I feel good. So what do you think made that click to, in the biggest game of the season, your offense all of a sudden is doing what the coaches want, moving the ball? Why do you think today was that day? Well, um, this is when it counts the most. It's the playoffs. It's the national tournament. It's time to uh, give it our all and try and go all the way. And Coach, we were in film room. He pointed out what wasn't working and what we had to do to make it work, and uh, we did our best out here today. Take us inside just when the game's going on and it's back and forth. How important is it just to stay calm and, and get fired up and that whole roller coaster during the game when it's just, I'm sure you're tense. Yeah, it's definitely, um, it's uh, one of my favorite feelings in the world, actually. I love the competition. I love being out there and fighting. Um, but you definitely got to keep high intensity the whole time. You can't lose that. Um, if you lose the intensity, there's just uh, a, a drop off in the level of play and the, uh, you need that in order to keep uh, keep up in the game, you know? So I believe you were playing second midfield today, is that right? Yeah, second line midfield, correct. So how was it, you guys stepped up today. Joe Bevel had that goal at the end. You had two goals just as a unit. Just how much pride do you take in that? Um, I really take pride in it a lot. I um, enjoy my uh, Joe Bevel and uh, Pike on the second line. Um, I think we do a great job together, and uh, today we uh, performed well. Got a game ball today, JoJo. Just what does that mean to you? Um, it felt good coming from Coach Faust. Um, I love to hear from him that he thinks that I'm doing well and uh, I'm doing what he asks and, and Coach Risco asked of me. And uh, it just felt good, yeah. Take us after the biggest win of the season, this is the most important game. You all were able to come out on top. Just how does that bring you all even more together as a group? Uh, it definitely brings us together more than ever just because um, well, I mean, at this point, winning is everything, and now we're on a roll, and we're just going to try and keep it going. I think that's the uh, key to success here. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like you're playing your best lacrosse as the season's ending here. Would you agree? Yeah, I think so, too. It's just a matter of the coaching staff preparing and getting us better all season long, and um, me as a player kind of started off with a hard head trying to do things my own way, but um, I think I'm starting to figure it out. How excited are you to have another chance at Nassau Final Four and with the whole season on the line? Um, I think it's going to be a great competition, hopefully. And uh, we went out firing last time, let it slip away a little. Um, but I think we're going to be more prepared and uh, bring the intensity a lot better and higher. Like I said, without that intensity, the game's just not going to be as competitive. Tim, how are you feeling after you're going to the Final Four now? How are you feeling? I mean, it's, it's pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. I've never really like even thought about us like getting here at this point, and it, we're actually here, and it's, it's going to be exciting to see what comes forward now, yeah. Just with this team being so young, and this is the first Final Four for most of the team, what does that add to it, or how to, talk about that element? I mean, a lot, I mean, there's only like five, six sophomores on the team that have probably been in this situation already, and the other 90% of the team has, and so it's going to be a new one for most kids, and me as well, and it's going to be... It's going to be exciting to go out there and 
take out take down Nassau and try to see what we got. So I believe first half you had nine saves and you just the whole game you were doing your thing playing well talk about just stepping up in this moment what, what did it take I know you've had some big moments this year but this is probably the biggest moment of the season I mean I don't know uh, it's just I just try to go out there and just play my heart out for this team and a lot of the kids on this team now are playing their hearts out and it's it's nice to see and you got one kid playing their heart out and I see him get beat or something like that I just got to try to save him and I know sometimes I do sometimes I don't and that really brings the team up though and it's it's nice being a part of this team where people can reciprocate their actions and through other actions of the other players on the team and hype each other up throughout those plays, yeah. Tim, so being such a back and forth game and the last game was a comeback against Genesee, but this one felt like it was tighter later. Like you all kind of got a lead in that first game and had the game at some, it was a comeback win, but today was like a real, like you guys came yeah, back, you were down. Just what did this game reveal about you and your teammates? We don't quit, honestly. I mean, there's been games and we've, haven't played our best in the first, second quarter, and then played our best in the third, fourth quarter. And this is one of those games where I think we played all around fundamentally the best we ever have in all four quarters. And Genesee wasn't a bad team. They came out here fighting. They were trying to go play back at their home field for Final Four, and they weren't going down without a fight, but we just hit them harder. Why do you think today was the day that the team had fundamentally its best game of the season? I know it's been a challenge this year a little bit. Uh, it's definitely because I think everyone started to realize what was on the line. That we're, it's national cha championship time. Like It's not region stuff. Like This is the, this is the final, final draw. And like, we got to prove ourselves now. What are you looking to prove playing Nassau next weekend? What are you, Tim Russell, what are you looking to prove? Just take him down. I just want to beat him. We, we came up, went up there last time. I didn't have my best game, but... They're going to get my best next game and look at the rest of our team the best and we're going to take them down. Just to go back real fast, when the game was in doubt, it was a three goal lead for Genesee. Then the defense really stepped up, I thought. You guys, you had a defensive stand and then there was like a turnover, I think, and then you came and made a big save. Did, did you sense the importance of that moment when it was a three goal advantage for Genesee? Yes, and then as soon as our offense started scoring, like they scored one, I was like, all right, we got to. We definitely got to lock them down now. And I said to our defense, we got to lock them down. Like, we try our best. I mean, I think they only scored two goals in the fourth quarter, and our offense scored three or four, or with three to tie the game back up. And then, of course, we won the OT, which was nice. But there was definitely a level of importance of saving the ball at that moment, and I just stepped up, I guess, yeah. Jake, to come up with that face-off in overtime, yeah. how'd that feel? It was, I mean, it was awesome. I got my boys on the sideline cheering me on. I heard everybody up in the stands, like, cheering on me cheering me on so it was it was awesome what did the crowd add today overall because it was a good turnout what did the, what did the crowd add oh i mean i just heard let's go griff non-stop the whole time and like it's nice when you're home and the other guy doesn't have that going for him so it was good so overall it was a tight game face-offs but it seemed like you came up with some really timely ones today that when the momentum was in doubt what was the key to stepping up in those important moments i mean i had a little rough start and then I knew when we needed to win it, when we needed that momentum, so I was just coming out firing and winning them when I could. An experience like today, playoff win, you're going to the final four, what does this experience add to you all to strengthen the team? Oh, the boys are buzzing. We are ready to go. It, I mean, we're ready to go. Going into New York, everybody's hyped up, big win, so we're, we're ready. Where does today's moment, you know, coming up with that face-off at the end and just playing the way you did, where does, where does today rank? When you look back at your career, where does today rank? Oh, this is, this is it. This is number one, and we're about to go up even more. So, What do you think today revealed about yourself? You know, like you said, it wasn't the ideal start, but you were able to bounce back, get the overtime one, get a bunch in the fourth quarter, third quarter. What did today what, – what did you show everybody today? That, I mean, that, like, I, I'm coming out to go, right? like, no matter what, you know? Like if I lose the first couple, it's okay. I'm I'm still coming back. I'm not gonna give up. So, how motivated are you to have a good week of practice and then have uh -huh. your best game of the season, Nassau game? Everybody is super motivated. They know what we need to do. We need to have a good week of practice, and we we should be set for Nassau. Like everybody's pumped. So, what's your relationship like with Tommy? I know you all are the face-off guys together, kind of, you know, you understand each other probably the best. You, you know what he's facing, he knows what you're yeah. facing. Talk about your guys' bond. I mean, we always are, like, helping each other out with what, like, is the other person's doing and whatnot. We're always giving each other tips, so it's not 
more of like a competition thing. It's more of like we're helping each other out, you know? 